who am I? If you get it, you get it. As we might expect from anyone lately, Brat and all the various versions of Brat has been dominating my on repeat. But if you zoom in, take a bit of a closer look, you might notice the gorgeous album art of time lapse by dora jar and let me tell you if you need a song to make you feel like you're in a movie if you need a song for a hot girl contemplation walk if you need a track to make you feel hopeful and melancholic and euphoric all at the same time this is the one for you, I'm calling it. Miss Dora Jar's long-awaited debut album, No Way to Relax When You Are On Fire, yes, <laughs> is coming soon. And I am all too excited, but it's time to give some flowers to the delightfully curious, underrated pop music of Dora Char. Hey, my name is Kate. I'm an artist and this is my series called Cattle Considerations where I talk about art, culture, and the internet and generally anything I want to have a conversation around. And boy, oh boy, with the Dora Jar Reddit spanning below a hundred members, I am hoping to find some other people who also understand <laughs> the magic of Dora Ajar and so we can discuss this album as soon as it drops. I am so stoked about this upcoming release because Dora's music has been so consistently great. I think I was initially recommended Bumblebee which is a lot of people's fave um, but then I listened to Polly and Polly was the song that hooked me in. I really like Scab's song. I really like Puppet. Time Lapse, of course. And then uh, I feel like Bump. Bump is grossly underrated. Okay. Put that song on while you're like biking or walking around your hometown in the fall or winter and tell me, tell me that you don't feel something. Outside of the music, we've got incredible visuals all around, very unique branding. If you can even call it that, it feels so authentic to who I would assume Dora Jar is that it doesn't even feel that way. Unabashedly whimsical, if I may do so say myself. <laughs> I mean, the red the red carpet clip is all you need to know. Dora, hold up. general way in which Dora Jar carries herself is very refreshing. And I am not alone in my thinking. No, no, no. Dora Jar came in more into the collective conscious when she was slotted, handpicked, I might add, uh, by Billie Eilish to be the opener for her Happier Than Ever tour. She has many amazing, talented supporters like Ash Nico. Hello. Remy Wolf. Going to make a video on Remy Wolf, but I mean, peep her in the motorcycle music video. Very fun. Little cameo there. Miss Victoria Justice. BFB. And I recently got to see her live because I went and saw the 1975 at MSG, which was very, very exciting. And so why? Okay, what, what's, what's the big deal? The big deal is that the production is layered, it's innovative, and yet it's still accessible. These are all things that are so hard to do. I think when you are a favorite of so many of pop music's current greats, you're, you're probably making something delightful. Lyrically, there's also just this sense of tenderness and honesty that's delivered in such a fun package. I mean, this little, this little line, the bridge in time lapse has been getting me the, I'm zooming out to find my mind is kind of like a blurry stranger on the concrete. And if I stop to say, hello, how is your day? I might begin to see it clearly. Like, come on. It's visceral. It's emotive. It's nonsensical. And that's exactly why it makes so much sense. From what I read, a lot of her songs start on guitar, but they don't necessarily stay on guitar. I think she's very good at not only 
being a producer herself, but bringing in amazing collaborators and still having her discography feel uh, diverse and yet cohesive. She was originally very inspired to pick up playing the guitar uh, when she saw David Grohl of the Foo Fighters play guitar on stage. And the way she writes uh, lyrics and sometimes puts together these streams of consciousness kind of reminds me a bit of uh, like a Caroline Polachek where (laughs) I can't quite understand what she's saying on a surface level, (laughs) at least immediately because it seems so random. And maybe it is by design and maybe that's what's so wonderful about it but amongst all this randomness and spontaneity there's this real sense of craft right Dora Jar has no problem with letting the art take its time hence her level of success and admiration from numerically larger acts despite not even having an album out yet in this interview she says i think it's important that i be very diligent in saying i'm gonna be here and no one can reach me for this amount of time i promise i'll come back with something so creating that space just to see what happens and that can be hard for artists because art is such a weird thing where you're creating and you can't force it but you also have a limited amount of time and it's very hard to find the time when you have to make money or you have all these other responsibilities but also you have to cultivate this like very vulnerable space and somehow pull something out of that and get it out to it's it's a much more um complex process from the inside than it is on the outside as as many things are so much of her music feels very grounded in taking the time to play and be curious in this limited space and let whatever come come but to pick out the best bits with a trained perspective and you see lots of themes of nature of introspection of feeling small and big at the same time the work feels very connected. One of my favorite Dora Jar songs, Bump, was originally written in 2018. Okay, 2018. And it didn't come out until September of 2022. Okay, that is four four years, four years. And listening to the song, it's beautiful and lovely and nice, but I, I love it, but I would not have expected it to take that long but then you take a a closer look and you see that she recorded 14 different versions of this magical song and then went on to make this beautiful glorious music video but the point is that sometimes great art takes time and it's up to us to make the space for it and believe in ourselves enough to let it happen at whatever pace it's going to unfold. Curiosity and creation start from within. And Dora Jar's music is so great at showcasing the delight and depth of our inner worlds. As she said in this interview, the alone time is really where it happens for all of us creatives. We come together to finish, but we need alone time to begin and have our own inner worlds, which I think is something that is not valued and very neglected in today's society. We don't really encourage people to have their own inner worlds and inner meanings, which is a part of you that no one will ever know, but it's what makes your life enjoyable. There's this common thread of holding on to this almost childlike, pure whimsy, and also just being exploratory, wanting to create something new, if that's even possible (laughs) in today's day and age. Dora's music is such a collage of her very eclectic map of influences, and it, it shows in a great way. And I think the best artists are able to push the envelope in a way that brings people along for the ride by captivating them with bits and pieces that may be more familiar or resonant to them. Her music and career arc and general output as an artist and a person really emphasizes finding beauty in the mundane, which is what I think art is all about. 
And I'll leave you on this quote, which I found very comforting and inspiring. One thing that I realized about myself is that I really want to make meaning out of things. And that comes from a place of sometimes being confused by a lot. I found so much joy and freedom in making meaning out of things and not taking that meaning too seriously but just exploring meaning. I would love to leave people with that drive to explore each other and ask questions and really listen and not be afraid to be emotional with each other. I would really love to make people feel epic. Whatever mundane thing you're going through right now, just let it be epic. And what a beautiful thing. I guarantee you time lapse will make you feel epic along with some other door jar songs, but I am also pretty, pretty confident that this uh, debut album is going to do the same. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens. So much good music this summer. I just want to talk about everyone because, wow, very, very good season for music. Anyway, if you're a door jar fan, what's your favorite song? Tell me about it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Bye-bye.